thought I would take you for a tour of my local riding loop here in North County Dublin. Um, a lot of farm fields, a lot of crops that are just being harvested, lots of potato fields. Hi, um, rider out enjoying this ride out there. But um, yeah, I've got just over a week left here in Dublin, North County, so I'm sort of making the most of just looking at what the sites are. I know them really well. There's not many hills. I might take you up one of those. Um, there's a few abandoned buildings in the lot and a lot of this. Crops. <laughs> okay, so the first site, one of the smaller farm lanes. This that one actually is not as tiny as they get, but um, the great thing about these Irish roads isn't the road surface, it's really the lack of cars. If ever I'm having to worry about cars, it's more just moving off the road to let a tractor pass. Okay, one of the beautiful lanes here, you can see a lot of the hay that has just recently been harvested over there. Over here, what a beauty of a house with one of those typical red Dublin doors. Anyway, this house is massive. But if you want to buy their old house, it's for sale. You might need your chainsaw. There's a few uh, ruins here, but I don't know. What do you reckon? Should we make them an offer? <laughs> uh, very interesting. You get lots of those abandoned sort of buildings here all around Ireland and um, it's still bizarre for me to see them. Um, no doubt I'll show you some more along the way. But yeah, so far, quiet road. Already pulled over for a tractor. So the ride is going as planned. A little bit further down, just taking a small little deviation onto one of the farm lanes here, which you can see the road condition here. Um, not the greatest and we've come down a little bit in road width so this is definitely a lane where if you see a car or a tractor you're pulling off to the side um, this is known as dog lane because the first time i went down here there was not one but two dogs decided to come out say hello and uh check out how my sprint training was going another feature of the irish roads and especially the lanes are the hedgerows it's always windy here because um, we're so close to the sea. So these are an absolute lifesaver. It's a very windy day at the moment today. Um, but yeah, you can sort of duck out of it quite well, which is, like I said, an absolute godsend. Next lane, um, so crop still to be harvested there. This area here will be very familiar to you if you follow my photos on Strava because we are coming up to the infamous field of dreams, the two trees in a grain field. And yes, I can report that the crop has been harvested. <laughs> so, um, it was a cool little photo study I was doing every sort of few rides and coming here and just watching how the crop had progressed. Some may say a little bit obsessed with the two trees in the grain field, but it now is actually quite cool to look back on and I'll probably flash up a few um, little images of the progression there so you can all see it as well. But happy to report a little bit of sunshine has come out. Woo! Oh, doesn't the sun just change your outlook so much, huh? It's great. But, um, crops either side of me here. Again, on a small road. I laugh, this road is called Sean Kelly on the Strava segment. So the Irish have got some good pedigree in Sean. But now my next favorite field, a real field of dreams, the sunflowers. How beautiful are they? Planted to um, help fundraise for St. Francis Hospice here in Dublin. So, the idea is you come here, pick a sunflower and um, make a donation. A real great idea. You didn't really think I was going to ride past the field of sunflowers, did you? If you did, you got another thing coming because, hey, 
who can ride past these? It's a real bright spot for me at the moment and I need as many bright spots as I can get. Um, it also is a great opportunity to practice my non-existent cyclocross skills. Let's see how we go. Whoa. Yeah, still non-existent. There we go. Beautiful. People having their photos taken of the sunflowers. Lots of people picking flowers. This is a fantastic fundraiser. If you're here in North County, get onto it. Woo! A little bit further into the ride and here are some more abandoned buildings. Like, there's no shortages of these. Some beautiful old roses growing over this one and um, yeah. And then across the way, we saw this yesterday on our ride and like, at first I did a big double take. I'll zoom in a bit and then add a photo. Probably can't tell, but um, there's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre model dummy just in that top left window with like a, a chainsaw and everything. It is really, really bizarre and freaky. And yesterday in the rain, after passing it, it was like, yeah, it did freak me out. Onto a bit of a bigger road for a little while and um, just over my shoulder is a cabbage field. Um, a lot of it's actually just been harvested, but uh, there's a bit to go. I can confirm in the wet weather, which it often is, this field really stinks. Like, if you've cooked cabbages at home, you know that sort of stale, sort of cabbagey, broccoli smell? Like that. Ugh. <laughs> and just a little stop on the ride because what do we have here? Something that we're finding in a lot of places in Ireland, which is just a field of wildflowers. I'm not sure how well this is going to come up on the camera, but um, yeah, it's stunning. I love it. Um, there's actually a little track to a uh, old cemetery down through there and a little bit of bare grass here and then more wildflowers all the way down there as well. Well, this is a bizarre sight. These sheep are orange, like, yeah, ginger sheep, redheads. Not sure if they've been painted, if they've been dipped, if it's an Irish joke, if it's just Irish sheep. I've never seen orange sheep. <laughs> Something quite rare for where I am on the North County is anywhere that's uphill. But I am currently riding on the main ridge line at North County Dublin just before Knoll, which I've actually affectionately renamed Bella's QOM Ridge because I've proudly taken all the crowns that belong here. I really love this section here. It's just beautiful, wooded. There's like an old sort of barn or cottage. Um, in early spring, the road here was lined with wild garlic, which sort of look a bit like snowdrop flowers. And um, you can eat it, it is garlic. But yeah, this is just like a, a tunnel of, of green, which I really, really love. Um, you're not far from green anywhere in Ireland. And we are at the top and I thought I'd stop and show you the views. Now, I'm not sure how good this will come out over camera, um, but straight across, like straight, straight across um, there is sort of where we live. And you can sort of see there's an island out there called Island's Eye and that little blip there is Hoth. And if I pan around, I might try and zoom a little bit. Um, hopefully you can sort of see Dublin and the proper mountains, the Wicklow Mountains, the unattainable mountains. Um, if you can make out these two ugly sort of smokestacks, they're one of the Dublin's proud, famous icons. <laughs> Just my lovely old polluting chimneys. Um, but yeah. This is the views. Okay, almost finished the ride now and just on the final small lanes to home. So once again, really tiny roads, rough and bumpy in places. Um, <laughs> oh, watch where I'm going, but the sun's out, which is great. I think those pink flowers on the side of the road are called willow herb. Um, which is quite cool, but yeah, final little stretches, 
tiny road, it's probably, I don't know, maybe two and a half meters width and pretty cut up as well. Okay, that is the end of Bella's North County Dublin Farm Lane tour. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me today. And what better place to stop the ride than right here in front of a potato field. Murphy's, Spuds, Tatoes, Taties, whatever you want to call them. North County Dublin is full of them. They're harvesting them like mad. Um, this crop's full of dandelion heads as well. But yeah, there we go. So, Bella out. <laughs>